Hey there, my beautiful Cancer. Welcome to this reading. We are mid-May 2023. And what's on my mind is, what is it? What are the messages that come from your past, from exes and um, former bosses, and even former friends, and even some family members you haven't talked to for a long time? If there was somebody that had a message for you, what would it be? I think each and every one of us can resonate with that. There's someone that we got cut off, ghosted, something was left unsaid. So just take a minute while I finish shuffling to bring somebody to mind and we're gonna do a quick tarot story and see what it is if that person could talk to you today, what is it that they would want for you to know? Okay, Cancer? So, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's see what the cards have to show for us. What is the message from that X? So, um, five of cups to start off with. So the person has been heartbroken. Whatever has happened has left them feeling very sad. In a way, their life is kind of on pause. Even though they've had opportunities to go forward, there's been something stuck. And I think they have regrets, is actually what I'm picking up, Cancer, that there was something that happened that was not your fault and really wasn't their fault either, but it, something fell apart and um, it has carried weight that they're feeling even today. They um, thought that what their original purpose in your connection was to build something permanent. So this could have, for some of you, this could be a family person that you have um, almost been robbed of relationships within your own kin because people have cut you off and there was no way you didn't know how to get back in touch because there was a dream to be fulfilled there. And yes, we have the Eight of Swords. So um, the person has had tons of remorse and regret. I mean, this is somebody who's suffering, okay, Cancer? And so um, the Emperor is what closes this, this thought. They really are ready to handle what it is that happened. And there is a sense of responsibility and respect that they are um, sending out toward you anymore. The blame that they may have felt um, and the shame that they may have put upon you, they are taking that on their own and they're not going to hold that against you anymore. So I believe that the person who is that came to your mind first is um, accepting responsibility for what happened. Whether or not you're able to speak to them and have a complete full circle moment about it, that we don't know. But understand that this person thinks only the best of you and for you and is really a cheerleader when it all comes out. So that's all I have for you, my darling Cancers. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next reading.